All right. Uh, can someone please confirm that you can still hear me and that you can see my shared uh, presentation? Great. So let's start. So as I said, uh, I will record this first part of, of the of the um, presentation uh, to have some some um, some memory of the of the talk and to be able to share it to people who can come. Um, I would like to ask you maybe if you are still unmuted, so mute your microphone um, for the first part. Uh, if you want to ask uh, in the middle of the talk, you can just uh, um, unmute it again and uh, and just ask al aloud and um, that's, that's, okay, that's all right. Um, I'm uh, very happy to see that not only Wikidatists per se, but uh, also librarians from the National Library uh, are attending this talk. So that's, uh, that's great. I'm, uh, I'm very happy that uh, you, you, you took time on Friday evening to, to listen to this. Uh, it will be a bit different from uh, how I usually talk about Wikidata to librarians. This will be from the point of, uh, of Wikidata, um, what the collaboration is like for us uh, and how we're uh, you know, harnessing this collaboration to improve quality of Wikidata. Um, and um, also other sister projects because more and more uh, other projects are using Wikidata uh, to improve their information. Uh, my name is uh, Wojciech Dostal. Uh, for those who don't know me, um, I'm, a, I'm a member of Wikimedia Czech Republic. I'm a former member of the board and now just a volunteer. Um, currently, I'm most active in Wikidata and I'm trying to establish uh, collaborations with, uh, with Czech institutions uh, and also organize the community uh, around Wikidata in the Czech Republic. Uh, so this talk will be about a collaboration uh, between basically Wikimedia Czech Republic and the National Library of the Czech Republic. Uh, and it will all be um, around the bibliographical databases that the National Library is running. Um, Bibliographical data, at least that's what I think, are a bit underestimated, uh, at least in the Czech Republic. They have a huge potential to really change the way we handle information, sourcing uh, and learning uh, in general. Um, it's full of information about um, um, books and not only books but other information sources uh, i always give an example um, why i am so fascinated by bibliographical data um, for example you want to uh, you, you want to make a collection of the books that you have just read and share it to your friends uh, you can use these bibliographical data to uh, tag these books you have read uh, to um, compare the books you have read to those uh, enjoyed by your friends. Uh, maybe get some auto-suggestions um, of the books uh, that you might read in future. Um, maybe get suggestions for books written by people uh, who are from your town or people who are writing about your town. So um, people from Wikidata or people who know Wikidata already uh, feel that this kind of information could be provided uh, very easily by, by Wikidata. And so that's uh, where Wikidata come into picture. Um, libraries and Wikidata have very similar goals. Uh, we are both trying to catalog and share the human knowledge. So. Um, that's why it has become a priority for me to to improve this data at least for for the Czech uh, 
um, librarian community, I'd say, and get as much as possible uh, synchronized and maybe even import it into Wikidata. Um, the, the National Library of the Czech Republic is, is running a lot of databases. It's a big information system that has evolved for, for dozens of years. Um, of course, the biggest of them is the uh, catalog of, of books uh, uh, or, or, or magazines and newspapers. Um, but uh, actually, the ones we are interested in right now are much lower in the hierarchy or actually higher in the hierarchy in, the, in a way that they are essential, um, um, let's say, ground for, for all the bibliographical uh, infrastructure. And that's the Czech uh, National Authority Database, which um, provides, provides entries about authorities, basically people, uh, or uh, places or concepts, um, which are then used by all the other databases. We've also been synchronizing um, a, a smaller terminological database of, um, of uh, several hundred of, or, or several thousand terms, uh, TDKIV in <laughs> Czech. Um, um, but I will not talk about it further uh, tonight. Uh, I will concentrate on the National Authority Database. And uh, th this is why I think it's, it's really the essential um, starting point for our work. Uh, we, we, we have to start with the um, most basic concepts and authors. And only after we cover these in Wikidata, I think we can move to uh, more uh, precise things such as publishers, libraries, or periodicals. And after we have those uh, grounds covered, we can move to uh, complicated things and start mapping books and editions and papers. Um, which we haven't really starting do, started doing in the Czech Republic. Uh, it's, it's maybe uh, uh, other communities are more advanced, but uh, um, we we are really uh, in the in the beginning. Um, I've also included a bit of a, a bit of a history for comparison for, for to, to give some idea of what where we are. Uh, the National Library has a, has a huge history, but it was officially established in 1777. It has more than 7 million books. And moreover, it has very large bibliographical databases that I've just mentioned. Um, our site is Wikimedia Czech Republic, an official chapter of the Wikimedia Foundation in the, in the, in the Czech Republic. It was established in 2008. We only have about 20 or 30 books in our bookshelf, so not much to read, but we have uh, 68 uh, volunteer members and eight employees. Um, and we have collaborated with uh, the National Library since the very beginning of our organization. Actually, uh, the first collaboration between Wikipedians and the National Library started in 2006. So that's only four years after Czech Wikipedia was started. And we didn't even have a chapter. We didn't have Wikidata. Uh, but uh, we already started um, using the MediaWiki API to retrieve uh, template data from Czech Wikipedia pages and link uh, from uh, the authority database back to Wikipedia. So as you can see on the image on, on the right, uh, there is an entry of a person and there is a, a Wikipedia icon uh, which goes to the Wikipedia article. So th this actually uh, goes back to 
15 years ago, um, which at that point was, um, I think, quite a huge deal for, for Czech Wikipedia to be accepted so early uh, by, a, by, a, by the most important library in the Czech Republic. Mm. Uh, but uh, that was only the start. Um, at that time, we only had a few thousand uh, articles mapped um, to, um, to to their corresponding uh, Wikipedia entries, Wikipedia articles. And then when Wikidata started, we could uh, shift all this to, to Wikidata and try to uh, in, uh, try to increase the number of uh, matched authority files. So in a way, the matching is is the first part in 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 any collaboration with a database. Uh, before you can do any real import, you usually need to uh, try to find matches between the two databases, right? Um, and we took many different approaches. So the first was obviously import from the Wikipedia templates that I already mentioned, uh, which were at that point used for linking between uh, authorities and uh, Wikipedia. Uh, nowadays, we use Wikidata to make that connection, of course. Um, the second way of um, matching was via via clusters. Um, uh, that's the huge increase here, uh, 2018, 2019. Um, uh, at least 100,000 entries were matched that way. Um, we discontinued that because um, now we are at a point where we have just has too many errors, too many mistakes, and we don't want to tolerate those. So uh, we don't uh, just import by looking into the app. Um, and there are probably tens of thousands or hundreds of thousands we have clusters which are not used right now to connect uh, National Library to uh, Wikidata because there's just too many mistakes in them. Uh, we did some more sophisticated reconciliations further on. This is mostly the 2019-2020 project. So we tried reconciliation with uh, same name and same date of birth with day precision. Uh, that proved to be quite uh, error prone. This didn't introduce a lot of mistakes. Of course, you can have two people born on the same day and with the same name, but that's uh, tolerably low. <laughs> um, we also tried name and year of birth and year of death. That's also quite precise. Or name plus year of birth plus uh, presence in the corresponding VF cluster. Um, that's also turned out to be quite good. So. Um, if you if you if you are doing something similar in in your uh, library, maybe you can use these suggestions to try to match a few, a few more. Because in, in our experience, this didn't introduce a lot of errors. Another way was via mix and match. Uh, I'll show you actually right now. Uh, if you know mix and match, it's it's a it's a tool. Uh, on Wikidata to uh, suggest possible matches, but uh, if the tool isn't sh isn't completely sure that the match is right, that the match is okay, someone must come uh, uh, and um, and uh, check it and uh, verify that the, uh, that the connection has been made correctly. Um, and it takes a lot of it takes a lot of uh, time to check all of these uh, suggestions. So we had 63,000 um, preliminarily matched entries um, in December 2020. And uh, we started a, a little challenge back in December 2020 
to improve this, uh, this to, to decrease this number, to get as many matches as possible from this. Um, it proved to be quite popular. Popular People liked um, checking those matches, so most of them were wrong, but um, about one in three or one in four are okay, and you can um, confirm the match. Um, we then selected the winner, the one who found the most uh, correct connections, user and Scala. Uh, and we were able to introduce the tool to many people who didn't know it before. And many of them, or several of them, have continued uh, working with it afterwards. So right now we are down to 11,000 preliminary matches. So that's 50,000 uh, verified entries. I think it's a great uh, success. Of so if you're trying to do a bit of a different data phone, uh, mix and match is, a, is an interesting way to go. Um, yeah. Another way to improve the matching um, is through these increment tables that we started uh, doing. Uh, so what, what's an increment table in our jargon? It's a, it's a table of the newest uh, mm, authority files in the database. Uh, a bot finds those latest additions to the database and creates a table like this. Uh, you, it's, it's, everything is in check because uh, all the descriptions are unfortunately or usually only available in Czech. Um, so um, at the, at the uh, you know presently it's 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 uh, it's mostly for the Czech audience. But here you can uh, search for uh, search Wikidata if the if the person already has some um, some item in the database or you can create a new item um, with some basic information from, from the National Authority Database. Uh, in this column, you can also check if the, uh, if the ID is already present in some VF cluster, uh, which, which, is, which then probably is, uh, is the correct, um, correct, correct QID. So yeah, so these tables are updated every every week, um, and uh, we would like to, uh, to to spread the word to check with that is because we we don't have time to go through all of them. Um, basically, we don't want to uh, we don't want to lose uh, the advantage that we now have that we have matched so many uh, entries, but new and new are created uh, every week. Uh, so, if we stop the, the work right now, we will lose the advantage that we have. So, it's a never-ending work. Um, the librarians also work <laughs> from, from the other side. Uh, um, they are trying to match a new entries to Wikidata items. So, so that's a great news from, from this year, um, maybe end of last year, that uh, librarians now can add the Wikidata ID to their entries. So they save us a lot of work by introducing these matches. So we can then only harvest them and, uh, and create the link in, in Wikidata. Um, this year, I harvested several thousands of links. So it's a lot of help from, from the librarians and they are doing it all over the country Country in in libraries which, uh, which work on cataloging new, new books and new additions to their collections. Uh, so s some of them at least uh, in, uh, add these links. So that's great. And uh, actually their uh, error rate is so low that we we would like to automate this. We would like to harvest these 
maybe even every day or every week and, and import these connections automatically to Wikidata because we found out that there is basically no, no errors uh, present at all. Yeah, but uh, Wikidata isn't just um, uh, isn't just concerned with links, right? Sometimes we forget that uh, a lot of people just work on uh, matching identifiers, and I love that. But um, we are trying to uh, build a database uh, on its own. So um, whenever a, a database is matched, uh, we try to see if, if there's some data that we can introduce to Wikidata. Um, and, you know, th this talk is supposed to be about quality, so um, data from the National Library is about as good as it can get, so um, we love uh, whenever we can do some import from, from this database. However, um, a few years ago this was, this was complicated. Um, all the bibliographical data in the Czech Republic were in a gray zone. They were basically non-free. Um, they were available just for display per entry. And the dumps uh, were existing, but not available to public. Um, this changed a little bit last year when we uh, made an arrangement with uh, the National Library to export the personal authority files into a CC0 license Wikibase. So this Wikibase is now uh, operated or on our servers uh, and includes basically all uh, personal authority files and all the basic information that we could extract from, from those. So uh, I'll, I'll show you a bit more of this Wikibase uh, on the next slide. Uh, but let me just say that the situation uh, even improved this year. Um, there is a new strategic document uh, of the Czech libraries, uh, which specifically mentions that uh, they want to support open data. Uh, they want to do uh, open license bibliographical metadata under CC0, yes, it explicitly mentions CC0, and uh, they want to enable extensive linking of data to outside sources. So I'm citing the, the parts of the document. So this is, uh, this is great. This is, uh, this is like dream to us. It's uh, basically shifting the paradigm and we are hoping this will really get, uh, this will turn into reality in two concrete steps. So I've, um, I have uh, um, actually um, be, uh, I have actually seen already discussions starting in the in the library of opening uh, some more data sets um, even more so this is this is this will enable more work to be done and more um, data to be imported into the right so this Mm, this discussion was difficult. Uh, it took many years, um, but it's worth it. Uh, and I, I, I really hope this can be reproduced elsewhere. So some countries are ahead of us already with uh, CC0 license datasets. Some are still waiting for that. Mm. Basically, uh, the post-communist world is, is usually uh, slower. Uh, than the western part of Europe, but I'm hoping we can really uh, catch up to you. Um, so this is the authority wiki base that I've been mm, talking about. This is just a screenshot of one of the entries. It, it looks like Wikidata, as you know, it's, it's, uh, it's running on the same software. Uh, and I usually introduce it as a transfer station between the library and the world of linked data, because um, it has all the uh, items, all the entries uh, that we are interested in. Uh, it has it, it has them in a sort of linked data way because we tried to establish connections to Wikidata, uh, to the library, 
uh, but also to, for example, places of birth. Um, it's CC0 license, so that's a huge help because the origin database, database de facto isn't CC0 license, but this subset of personal items is. Um, it has public dumps, uh, so you can play with the data, uh, try to select a subset of the data and try to uh, reconcile it to Wikidata or import it as new items. Unfortunately, it still doesn't has, have a query service, so um, you only have to download, download the dump and play with that uh, right now. And it's not updated regularly, um, automatically, but we do uh, manual updates from time to time. Um, we already used this database to do a proof of concept import of, of um, several uh, thousand person items into Wikipedia. Maybe you've noticed them, they are usually a QID 95 million something, um, uh, but um, uh, we, we pride ourselves in, in trying to make the items as good as possible from the start. So we were able to extract uh, not only dates of birth, but also places of birth and death and um, uh, also occupation, uh, sex, and gen sex or gender, and even some identifiers that were present in the original database. Um, we used a lot of regular expressions to extract data from descriptions because this authority database has um, uh, a lot of information in um, basically sentences. So sentences in Czech, which cannot be really uh, read by machine, but you can you can do a, a regular expression to, for example, find uh, a sentence which says when the person was born, because they are not completely random. The sentences follow a certain uh, template, a certain scheme, so they can be sort of um, uh, read by by regular expressions. Um, so we, we are trying to uh, always, you know, improve the data. So uh, whenever we we have some suggestions, what can be acquired from the from the database, what more can be found, what have we missed, uh, we try to add it to the existing items, so, uh, so that they, they they get better and better. And it's really showing in Wikidata, I think. So. Um, these are the statements where national authorities were used as a reference on a, on a pie chart. Uh, as you can see, uh, there is a huge amount of dates of birth, occupations, uh, well, instance of, gender, given name, place of birth, date of death, place of death. Well, this uh, stuff that you would expect in, in uh, personal items. We have done some work on non-personal entries, such as places, but um, we're, we're only starting there. Um, uh, the, the part that's open right now is the personal part of the database, so we're concentrating on, 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 on people right now. And uh, whenever this match is made uh, with the national authorities, uh, between the authorities and Wikidata, uh, you can add other um, other IDs because many of Czech databases are linked to the national library through the IDs. So whenever an item gets uh, this this national authority ID, um, it usually gets uh, a flood of other identifiers afterwards and uh, even more data from those sister databases. So. Uh, it's really like a catalyst of, of further improvements. Uh, I'm getting to the end of my uh, talk. Um, so I'd like to summarize a few ways how we try to give back to the libraries. 
uh, at the moment we we are not doing a lot of round tripping so round tripping is the term for um, import from Wikidata to the um, database uh, that we just connected uh, that we just matched um, there was a small import of Wikidata QIDs uh, um, but that's just one case. Um, we are trying to uh, display information from Wikidata uh, in a dynamic way, so not to force those information in, into the entries in the national library, but to display them dynamically. So we have this uh, tool that's called nklink. Um, it works a little like the hub tool, if you know it. Um, it, uh, it just reads the, the national library ID and enables anyone to display a uh, link to Wikipedia or link to Wikidata or even link to ORCID or link to ISNI. So, and we are open to new, 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 new features if any library wants us to add them. Um, so this is a way to uh, provide libraries with a way to, to, to really um, harness the, the magic of Wikidata because uh, uh, they can improve their databases and uh, you know, even show pictures of the people that we have in Wikidata or, or stuff like that. And uh, uh, they can really enrich their, their databases and make them nicer for their readers. Uh, we did uh, workshops for librarians as a part of Wikisite. We also uh, do semi regular courses in the library to teach librarians more about Wikidata and we explain how to make these connections between uh, between the their uh, database and, and, uh, and uh, Wikidata. Um, after we started uh, providing this NKLink service, we found out that not many uh, Czech scientists uh, have ORCID in, in, in Wikidata. Uh, so we tried to match as many ORCID entries uh, of Czech scientists to uh, entries of the National Library so, um, so that we can really uh, connect ORCID and uh, Czech bibliographical world, two worlds which were uh, mostly um, separated from each other um, the academic uh, publishing uh, databases and the bibliographical databases only Wikidata now are starting to connect, connect those um, and I think people love it or, these ORCIDs are already used in, in Czech Wikipedia articles and displayed automatically of course uh, and the last slide is supposed to be about uh, where we want to go in future. Um, so uh, uh, most of it is probably straightforward. We want to improve the access to dumps uh, that we have in our wiki base. And not only that, uh, we would like to teach people how to use these dumps to process them, to extract data from them, because we really want to turn the um, entry-level users of Wikidata into experts. So we want to teach them how to find what they want in the data. Uh, OpenRefine is a great tool for that. Uh, you have probably noticed in this presentation that we use it a lot to, to um, process the data. And uh, we encourage everyone to download OpenRefine and, and uh, load our dumps into OpenRefine. As I said, we want to automate everything uh, possible uh, because there is so much manual work uh, that we don't want to waste our volunteers' time on, on things that can be done automatically. 
So for example, the field 024, which is the field where librarians add uh, Wikidata links, uh, this can be automatically transferred to, to Wikidata and the link can be established automatically. But there are other, there are other things that can be done. For example, if, when a link is made uh, between Wikidata and the National Library, uh, there can be um, uh, automatic addition of, of dates of birth, of dates of death and stuff like that. And we are working on that. Um, there is a great tool uh, developed by a faculty of math and physics in the Czech Republic. It's called Linked Pipes. Um, you can Google that. Uh, it's uh, extract... Um, like how is it called? Extract transform load module <laughs> um, for uh, for link and, and they have developed this module uh, for wiki, wiki, wiki base basically wiki data so anyone can use this link pipes um, module to create automatic pipelines between uh, between a given database and wiki data so we would like to explore that and possibly use it as well and uh, if we can, we would like to progress to other data sets uh, because uh, there's a lot of work to be done on, for example, periodicals or publishers or, or magazine uh, or, or, or even papers and stuff like that, and scientific uh, papers uh, mainly. So that's the work that I envision. And uh, with that, uh, the first part of, of, of the presentation is over, so we can start the discussion. Uh, I'll switch off the recording.